Welcome to a lesson on adding integers using what I call the money analogy. Let's do a quick review of what we're talking about when we refer to integers. Integers are the numbers that can be written without a fractional or decimal component and they fall within the set listed here. Now the money analogy is my favorite way to add integers because if you can make sense of adding integers, you're not memorizing a mathematical rule that you'll forget in a week or two. So here's the idea behind the money analogy. You can think of a positive integer as gaining money or winning money, and you can think of a negative integer as a loss or losing money. So for example, if we have seven plus negative four, because this seven is positive, you can think that you win seven dollars, and then when you add negative four, you can think of this as a loss of four dollars. So if you win seven dollars and then you lose four dollars, you would still be ahead three dollars, therefore seven plus negative four is equal to positive three. So hopefully that makes sense. Usually it's pretty easy to relate to winning or losing money. Let's try a few more using the same analogy. Here we have negative 12 plus seven. Well for the negative 12, we start off with a loss of $12. And then we add a positive seven, so we gain or win $7. So if you lose $12, and then you win $7, where would you stand? You would still be down $5. Therefore this sum is negative five. Notice that the loss outweighs the gain, resulting in a negative sum. Let's try a few more. Here we have negative six plus negative three. Since they're both negative, we have two losses. We have a loss of six dollars. We have another loss of three dollars. So if you lose six dollars and then you lose three dollars, where would you be? You would have a total loss of nine dollars, therefore this sum is negative nine. Let's take a look at one more example where we have a sum of four integers, but we'll use the same analogy. So we have eight plus negative two plus negative five plus nine. So we have a win of eight dollars. We have a loss of two dollars. We have another loss of five dollars. And then we have a win of nine dollars. So let's work our way through this. If we win eight dollars and then lose two dollars, we would still have six dollars. So if we have six dollars and then we lose five dollars, we'll still have one dollar. And then if we have one dollar and then we win nine dollars, one plus nine would give us a total of ten dollars. So this sum would be positive ten. So again, the money analogy is just one way that you can try to make sense of adding integers if you do find it challenging. I hope this made sense. Thank you for watching.